Hey, it's the Droid Guy here, and we're going to take a quick look at one of Sprint's new medium to high range phones. They have the LG Marquee and the HTC Evo Design 4G that we really can't call mid range phones, and they just don't spec out to be super phones at this time. Now, the mystery behind this phone, the LG Marquee, is that we saw it back in February as the LG Optimus X. Now, back in February, with a 1 gigahertz processor, it was going to be a super phone because the dual core processors hadn't hit just yet. Now though, it's bumped down to that medium to high range phone category. Now if you're just now getting into Android or maybe you started with an entry level phone and you're not ready for all the fancy bells and whistles, this phone may definitely be for you. Check it out. It's the LG Marquee. It's got a brilliant 4 inch Nova display. Now Nova is LG's answer to Samsung Super AMOLED, so the display is just absolutely awesome. On the back, there's a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash. On the front, there's a 2 megapixel camera so that you can chat, video chat over 3G or Wi Fi. Now, that's another reason that this phone on Sprint doesn't go into the super phone category, but definitely a great mid range, mid to high range category is because it doesn't have access to Sprint's 4G WiMAX network. Only Sprint's uh, 3G network. Now, one of the other things that you're going to notice right away about the LG Marquee is that it has access to Sprint ID. If you're not familiar with Sprint ID, what it is is a aggregator that takes things like wallpapers, backgrounds, themes, games, apps, and puts them all into a package that you can download all at one time. Like you'll notice that on the screen there, MTV has an ID pack, CMT has an ID pack for you, uh, country music fans, you can stay socially connected with this pack that concentrates on Facebook and Twitter and other social media. There's the Sprint pack and things like that, but we'll get into Sprint ID a little bit later. You're going to notice that it has a pretty thin form factor and comes in about 3.95 ounces, so it's a very lightweight phone. The battery life that we're seeing out of it right now is about 8 hours of mild use, seven, 6 to 7 hours of a lot of use. If you're a die-hard user, you're going to be in the 5-hour category as well. But this is it. It's the Sprint LG Marquee. Of course, it has access to the Android market with over 500,000 different apps for you to choose from. Like we said before, it's got Sprint ID. Sprint also has done a good job of making sure all the great stuff is on here. Uh, Netflix is on here. The Sprint Zone is on here. That gives you access to all your Sprint stuff. And surprisingly, NASCAR's not on here. And it has Adobe Flash, as all Androids do. It starts out with Android 2.3 Gingerbread. As we heard today, the LG G2X is not getting ice cream sandwich, so probably doubtful that this one will get ice cream sandwich, but you'll be solid on Gingerbread if you get it. You're going to end up paying around $99 for the Sprint LG Marquee. It's got a great 5 megapixel camera, so you could probably throw your point-and-shoot camera away or recycle it or something like that. I've seen a lot of great photos on Google Plus shot with that camera. And uh, you got your dual camera, the front camera there, it's 2 megapixels instead of WVGA. So that's good to go as well. It's got a lot of cool backgrounds and, and you can change all that using your Sprint ID or just straight up Android. But like I said, it's a 1 gigahertz processor so it runs reasonably fast in this day and age. And it is at the latest version of Android that's commercially available right now, which is Android 2.3. It's the Droid Guy taking a quick look at the LG Marquee. Thanks for watching.